Hi, welcome on my Linux Mint machine. Just wanted to show you what we're on uh, because we've just installed Arch Linux and Arch Linux Budgie afterwards, and then we've installed i3 on Arch Linux Budgie. But we're still working on Linux Mint 18.1 Serena in VirtualBox. We'll install Arch. So I'll move over. As you can see, this is i3 on Linux Mint, and this is VirtualBox. Here you can see it. It's the virtual box and inside is the Arch Linux Arch. And then we installed the budgie on it. And now we would like to have a different desktop to have some variety. And we installed i3 on it. So we're looking at two i3s, the one in Linux Mint and the one in Arch. You will see and know maybe already that it's almost the same. It's 99% the same. The config file or just a few lines you should omit with a hashtag or something like that. Okay, this movie is going to be, of uh, tutorial is going to be about, well, what can you do with this i3 and, and what shortcuts can I use and so on. But first off, so we have this nice wallpaper, thanks to this little program variety. We have installed, we scroll over it with a mouse, we scroll and we have a new wallpaper, but we will work if you run the script that's on the github otherwise the script is uh, not changed unchanged and it will not work so i've changed the line of code inside then um next is this challenge i have view full screen mode remember the right control with f switch and you get this awesome image so <clears throat> what's next how can i go and have a full screen mode well i'll show you a program you should remember i've programmed in my config file control alt t that's the terminal yeah windows shift q terminal is gone but there's also an easier one windows enter which is also terminal and i'm gonna call it this program here x render and now we're going to analyze the screen we're on the output screen is 160 1640 times 944 there's an asterisk behind it that's your resolution the question is what can my uh, computer here well my screen what can it have for resolution so can I pick but because you can only pick the ones that in this list if the resolution is the same as your resolution of your screen the maximum resolution you can pick it and the full screen will work question is uh, will uh, will this resolution be the same as the resolution of your screen you have to know and you have to check that okay so let's give it a try can we take this one and hope for the best so it might give an error because of the wrong resolution that my screen says huh? what kind of resolution is this i will have to take this one thousand one six i'll write it down one six eight zero by thousand fifty just to be on the safe side what we're gonna do is tell the system x render to output with a T please Eric output to the VGA dash one that's the name of my screen it could be called virtual one or something like that so output VGA one this particular output should be what should be another mode it should be one six eight zero times zero fifty okay let's give it a try things will change change will be ugly things will have here an uh, a bar slide bar but the question is yeah i can get rid of this dvi green thing up there so i just went to check what the resolution was of my uh, right screen they're not the same left and right so um i have this number and now i hope fingers crossed no such luck so but this should have been 
the solution, you know. So there are still some issues to be worked out, kinks, kinks in the system. I do believe I've done everything I could do. So 1680, 1680, no typos. 150. So this should have worked. Should have, should have. As you can see, try it again. It will not work. So we're at a loss. We'll have to stick to the previous um, size, which was this size here. So we're gonna re-change it. 1640 times 944 and there we are and we can have a nice tutorial having it have, having this one full screen will not help either so we're really stuck to this uh, view here it all depends okay it's a um, tutorial anyway I recommend you install Arch Linux on SSD rather than VirtualBox at some point. Then, so that's a possibility. To know XRender is good because also of uh, the possibility that you have two screens and you check out ericdubois.pe, there are uh, uh, codes to tell that which monitor goes to the left or to the right of the other one, so you don't have the inverse, okay? So you can define it with XRender as well. That's that. Let's get rid of this. Second up is design. You see that my design is already changed. I have changed the profile preferences. I made custom font. I have changed the transparent background. Let's do it right now. Meaning, meaning, how is this possible? I have installed something. What did I install? In the configuration file you, and the, the, the GitHub file you installed, so you download it, there is this install GNOME terminal transparency, and I like this one. I like to see my wallpaper. So when I go into the terminal, I have a wide view over the desert in, at this point in time. But I love it. So I've installed GNOME transparency. That's why it has now a slider here. The scrolling is gone. And I don't want to limit the scroll back. And last but not least, I told him also to not show the menu bar. So this is the look of terminal, the GNOME terminal, the way I like it. So that's a desktop tuning. What else? Installing elements, as we have seen here. We can install, for instance, let's install that, that would be good for you. Install screen key. If we go like this, but this is Nemo. This, for Nemo, this is a long way to go. What I'm inclined to do is pop up to the top. I'm putting everything on, close, and press here. So now I have my terminal, my transparency terminal. And now I'm gonna install something. So install what? And now I have this to install. And then we have to check again, what was the name again? Is it further down the line? Uh, what was I? Screen key is the one I wanted to do, like so. And we run it. He wants to know my password. So it's that easy to install one of my scripts. Installing something that's not there, you just type packer, packer and something. I don't know, anything really. Let's go for a conky. Is there something about conkeys? Yes, there are lots of things, information about conky. We've already installed conky but we want maybe to install Conky Manager, although Conky Manager will not work with this version. This is a Lua version. Uh, so in this respect, that would be not a good choice, but you see what you do. Just press a number and jump up, I don't know, enter, and you run, you run this, uh, you download and install this thing. Control C, we're out of it. What did I install? I installed Screen Key, Windows D screen 
key, one to the right. And now we have this little icon here. I'm gonna set some preferences for you. Always show shift and a bit less in seconds. And what's happening when I press on, when I move over the terminal, that one is selected, that one is not. That's how it works. Windows Shift Q, and there you have the screen key. Windows Shift key closes stuff. Windows D opens, or Super D, and Windows D opens the menu. Escape. Windows Shift D, uh, sorry, Windows Shift T opens this special kind of menu, this G4 D menu. Escape. What happens when you press Windows 3? You go to Desktop 3 or Workspace 3. So that's how it works. Now the screen key is functional and you see me pressing the codes. The next thing I'd like to explain, probably not many people are, or, uh, well, can, can use it, I don't know, but I'm gonna explain it anyway. So this is the passes tray, and why, it's, uh, why I'm installing it? Because of my Boost Bluetooth headset. So I can tell the system to go to a default sync, to default source, and then we, you can select some kind of second line that says the Boost Bluetooth headset. So this is an, a geeky thing to, to control your sound, just scrolling over it is just moving up and up and down, down uh, the sound, so that's no problem. But hovering over it is, well, yeah, quite geeky, you know? Pulse, native, protocols, server protocols. But I've installed it really because of the, 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 ease, the ease I have to select them, the, the Bluetooth uh, heads uh, phone. This is just to go to an internet, so it's just there when you're connected with a wire. And this is our wallpaper. What else could I teach you, tell you? Um, for instance, Control Alt T, we've done. Control Alt F is gonna be another Firefox. Windows Shift Q over it, it's gone. Control Alt V, let's see if it's installed, not yet. So if Vivaldi would be installed, oh, let's install Vivaldi. So Windows Enter, Packer, Vivaldi. Which one? The snapshot, the very, very latest one? Why not? Why not? We're on VirtualBox, who cares? So I'm taking the last one. Do you want to proceed? Yup. Edit stuff? Nope. And it's going to be installed. And we're going to get the very latest version. The all, all the other people are still working with 1.6, but we'll have 1.7. So that's been installed. What else? While that's installing, I'm gonna open my config file. You can open your recent files here as well, as you can see, that's the one I want. No, that's a conky config, not the one I want. Really needs, well, it's easier to go this way. i3, config, there you are. Let's take a look at the installation. Compressing, go ahead and compress. So you should check all these codes out. Um, what is important to tell you? Quitting and exiting probably. Windows pause break gives you a line here, system, lock, e -lock out, suspend, hibernate, reboot, shift S, shift S is the one I use mostly, shut down. But if you want to go back to budgie, it will be log out. And here we are, and we can go back to our budgie desktop and say, okay, it's okay, my, my system here. Uh, and there we are on budgie, and we can log out back again. Eric, log out log out and here you tell them to go back to i3 and see what's happened to our installation we were in the middle of in our installation and easy doing stuff or 
did we break it? So the question is, is Vivaldi now installed? Windows D, or did we stop it? I guess we stopped it. So that's how it uh, all works. With uh, exit is another button, Windows Shift E is another exit button. If you do this one, you go back to the GDN. Since we are on Budgie, we are back to the Display Manager. Okay, back online, like so. These are the icons, the special icons we've installed, Takao. And let's take a look at the rest. In the other movie, we've explained to you how to change the icons, also this icon, and uh, Alex Appearance and QT Config 4, stuff like that. So I'm not gonna repeat it. Maybe we could make uh, this. Uh, let's make it a movie to change the status bar as well. So this line here is telling you what system you're on and so on. There are some differences in coding behind in, in every system. But anyway, we all go to config file. You take this slider up here and you move down here. Option one, we are now looking actually at status the i3 blocks my personal configuration file so if you say let's hide this one control save my screen key is uh, still uh, it's gone now so i'm gonna activate it again for your leisure so control windows shift r that's what i want to do we have reloaded the config file and the line is gone here. Here's no line. Maybe you like it like this as well. So with the hashtag in front, save and reload, you'll get the normal i3. I have a virtual box IP address, as you can see. Okay, so that's how it works. Yeah, you can only have one line of these. So you can have one up here. First save, then reload. We are in a virtual box, so we can't probably find a particular file, so I'm not worried about that. And then hashtag the other one, save, reload. And here we have the standard look for the status bar. And if you like Conky and you're uh, adapt in working with conkeys you can also start a conkey and change the conkey the way you want so this is a conkey now the conkey is uh, it's good that we did this exercise the conkey looks strange what is this kind of code well these are fonts and if fonts are not installed you should install them and in this particular case it's the awesome font i have this little script available but I'm going to show it anyway, the other way. Packer, awesome, font. So, you have to check out which one is it. My, my guess is this one. Let's take a look what I've chosen. Scroll till you find it, this one. We do not run it, we display it. We go to 2 and we see that I've chosen for TTF font awesome and it's going down this script and it says uh, if it is already installed don't do anything skip it if it's not installed you install it with Packer if Packer is not available then Packer is Packer not available then Yahoot and otherwise yeah fuck it not installed and this is just to check uh, whether to print that it's really installed or that is broken that it did not uh, that there was no success in installation so this is really a checkup not just a print echo it's installed no no a checkup if it's installed or not if there was success or not okay well what do you want i don't know we've done an exercise in the right screen here with packer we did not end it that's true so maybe we should do this uh, via this way so number two, 
enter proceed with installation yes edit no no and the same things will happen with the one here on the, on the left and there we go and it's installed now to reload this stuff here to reload my config file you really need to windows shift r again because then haha then the icons are fixed so this is how we've changed we have uh, five ways to show the bar the status bar in the bottom and the wallpapers keep changing as you can see on the back ends in the background just by pressing windows 4 for instance we have nothing on the Windows 4, so we can take a look and scroll through all the wall wallpapers that uh, Variety has provided until now. Let's keep this one. And then, um, anything else? So pressing Enter, Windows Enter, gives you this one. Windows Shift Enter gives you, oh, sorry, two times, gives you this one not two times but uh, i have told that nemo should always go to workspace 8 and that's why we're looking now at two versions of nemo you see so super shift q gone again gone again gone again windows shift enter there is nemo again so that's something the other way maybe i know something interesting windows enter enter and you might be working on this screen here and say damn it's too small i can't see what it is well you do press windows f on the menu you want to full screen windows f and there you are uh, you are full screen um, and then you do press again windows f and you're back to the smaller screen everything applies to the other ones as well as you can see it works all the time you might be considering to do over this one. Let's do the new fetch. Not the capital letters, that's enough. Small letters, like so. You don't see anything on the side here. So, Windows F over here. Do it again. And here it is. Windows F. And there you go, all broken again. You might consider as well to hover things so you have these tiled windows next to each other but you can also say this thing here i want to windows shift spacebar it and now it's uh, hovering so you can make it smaller bigger move it out of the way and so on so it's an, in hover mode <laughs> nice word windows shift space and it's back in between one of those that's also an interesting one but what i'm thinking is just in my head what what might interest you but everything is in here you read the code you see what's happening here's the the floats or float things uh, not here straight away but here's the mods b bar mode toggle so there are a lot of shortcuts i'm never using but they're in there and you can you can change the sounds here's are just the changes of sound and so on so you better actually read the config file have fun